It says people against each other. It's, it, it, it says we have two groups. We have several groups that are, that are subjugated, the oppressed. We have this other group that are the oppressors. They, they have inherited guilt. They have collective guilt. They cannot expiate that guilt. Uh, that is incredibly divisive. I mean, it, it's also very con- – there are many things wrong with this. and it's very, it's, it's, There's no evidence that it works. It, 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 it's, in fact, there have been studies conducted by people at Harvard and Columbia with hundreds of companies that show there's no impact to this whatsoever. So, so it's not only costly, and, and when schools do it, that's what – this money, these scarce resources could be going into books, computers, mm-hmm. things to actually help kids, especially poor kids. No, it's going into the pockets of a, of a, a class of, of, of uh, uh, you know, um, uh, people who come in and give these trainings. That, 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 that really is a waste of money. Well, with let no me ask you this, Mike Gonzalez. It, do, you ex- do you even think that there's something to change? In other words, if, we, if all these, these trainings go away... Is that a, is it does that they not get replaced with anything else? Is there nothing that needs uh you know to be reviewed uh as as adults and in the workplaces, the inequities, that kind of a thing, the microaggressions, all of that, that just stays the same or what? Well, I, I the, the the consultants conducting these trainings, they they definitely should not be doing this. Um I would have to look at you know, I can't answer a, a theoretical question because I haven't looked at, a, at another form of training that you can come up with. I think what I can definitely say is enforce the law. It is illegal to discriminate. It is illegal to harass somebody. It is illegal to harass somebody because of his or her race. But what if you don't even know origin? what the harass? But what if you're? What if in these trainings they teach you what harassment is and you didn't but realize you were doing it before that? But that's, that's not what they're doing. They're saying that punctuality is a white concept. These are, so okay. Well, and, okay. And, and I, yeah, Hassan Kwame Jeffries, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I got to jump in. Yeah, the, sure. The reality is what they're saying isn't real. They're saying racism isn't real. But this is also coming from the same group of people who are saying science isn't real, who are saying Russian interference isn't real, who are saying the coronavirus isn't real, who are saying but, global warming isn't real. What? What's divisive? What's divisive? Let's just be clear. What's divisive isn't a training to point out the ways in which people are, are committing harm against other folks, both individually and collectively as a part of systems. What's divisive is, is racism itself. And so this whole notion that bringing up the problems that we confront that impacts people's lives and saying that that's somehow just a, 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 a Ponzi scheme to put money in people's pockets is not only insulting, it in and of itself is divisive and is doing harm. So let's just be clear about that. And when we're talking about, when we're talking about these notions of critical race theory, and Anne, you gave a great example of the Eisenhower uh, interstate system, right? And, 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 and you know, Mr. Gonzalez, you, you, your, your response was what? They didn't know that at the time. Uh, that 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 it was having a disparate impact on people. That's the problem right there. They particularly, they specifically identified black and brown communities to build these highways through, purposefully destroying them to preserve white middle class and upper middle class communities. That's no, you may not. I'm not done yet. That's the issue. That's the problem. And we can look at it in the 1950s. We can look at it in the 1750s. Because the same things that you're talking about, this idea of education and anti-racism training, we look at the American past, and I'm an educator, when we look at the American past and we look at something like slavery, like, oh, yeah, slavery existed. But you're going to pretend as though slavery was some kind of American side hustle, that James Madison, the, fa- the architect of the Constitution, that this was just some side gig he did on, the, you know, he did, that, that wasn't really cent- central to his life. It wasn't. He was a third generation in slaver. Slavery is central. Racism is central to the founding and formation of this country. And to deny it is to protect, is to put blinders on and to continue to perpetuate this Disney version of history that does nothing for people in the present. Mike Gonzalez? So, yeah, a lot of things were put in my mouth that were never said. But I'll tell you what is insulting. It's to say that punctuality is a white concept. No, people who work together need to rely on each other. To say the love of the written word is the product of whiteness. That, that is completely toxic. Uh, to say that rationality is whiteness. No, rationality is the faculty that makes us humans. It's, it's what all seven billion, billion of us on this earth share in common and gives us humanity. These are all things that, that I'm saying. They all come from so-called anti-racism training. 
They say hard work is the product of whiteness. That is insulting, okay? That is what is insulting. Individualism is not white. The concept of individual rights is what gives men and women dignity from Bangalore to Brazil. All these things that I have just said come straight from the, 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 the trainings that these consultants do that have been banned. This is why it was so essential that they be, that they be banned. Uh, what about the 1619 Project, um, Mike Gonzalez, and the president's uh, dissatisfaction with that as well, a Pulitzer Prize winning project out of the New York Times, um, uh, noting and, and uh, dissecting the history of enslavement 400 years ago in the United States? Well, uh, the, 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 the project did not get the prize. Nicole had an essay on the project that the Pulitzer Prize. That itself was an outrage. It is filled with inaccuracies. They're going back and, and rewriting it. They're writing, they, they keep changing. The central tenet that the colonists fought the revolution uh, because they were afraid that the, the British Empire was going to take away slavery. That had, they had to go back and say, okay, no, no, that wasn't a cause. I know the charge that was well, made. You know, we have really, really bad connection, Mike Gonzalez. Is there something you've done different? Um, I'm sorry, can you hear me yes. better now? Yes, yes. Okay, so I'll, I'll repeat that. One of the central tenets of the 1619 Project was that the colonists waged war on Britain because they were afraid that Britain was going to take slavery. That has been now, uh, the, the, the New York Times has said, no, we got that wrong. That is not one of the central causes of the revolution. Another one was that the country started in 1619, not in 1776. And Nicole Hannah-Jones is now coming back and saying, oh, I never said that, despite many tweets 